Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Uh, uh, I have, it's been a long time since I uploaded my video. I humbly apologize for that. But uh, however, for this video, we'll be creating an effect like this. So the effect will be uh, like this left side. We'll be using Do Twin for that. I have already installed um, Do Twin and I have already um, set it up all the modules and all. Um, Whenever uh, you install Dootwin into your uh, uh, project, uh, you will get a pop-up uh, to set up the Dootwin. So if you don't get that, what you can do is go to Tools, Demigian, and open up Dootwin panel. And you will get a red warning here that um, the setup has not been done. You need to click on Setup Dootwin. You will get a, a message over here that it, the, it is waiting for the Unity editor to stop uh, comp, uh, compilation and then you can uncheck any modules that you don't want. So for example, you don't want to animate your UI, you can just check this off and click on apply. But uh, for this video, we want to uh, animate our UI, so I'll check it again and hit apply. So to create that kind of effect, um, I have a empty under my canvas to so the vertical layout group and since under my vertical layout group I can't move these image components uh, like I can't move anything in the X or Y axis uh, what I have done is I had a simple image before so what I did was I created an empty and dragged my image under that and then I created a prefab out of it so I have this prefab image holder and this is the real image and now I have uh, four of them and I can easily move these images. So as you can see, the image holder has a position of um, like over here at the center 50 by minus 50 on the Y and the image has the position of uh, minus 1564. So the reason I'm doing this because it will animate from this place to the position X of zero. So it will come over here. So for um, that to happen, what I did was under our canvas, I created a new script, animate UI. I opened that up. First of all, what you need are is two using tags. That is using dg dot twinning. Dg stands for demigiant and twinning. Well, um, twinning. Uh, under that, we have another um, using tag that is unity, using unity engine not UI. You may may not need the U, UI. You may animate anything else. But for this um, tutorial, I have used images. So um, under uh, my uh, class, I created a variable uh, array of image, and I named it all images. I created a new coroutine animate main UI. Under that, I created a for statement. So if i is less than all images dot length and if i isn't equal to zero so if it's not the first one so if it's not the first image to slide in then it it, uh, it will add a it will wait for 0 0.25 seconds so if it's the first one it won't um under that what we have done is under all images we got the component in parent canvas group so over here at the image holder, I have this canvas group component and after that, I'm calling the function do fade. So do fade is uh, a part of the dg.twinning, uh, uh, part of do twin. And over here, you need to give an end value. That is uh, what will be the end value and the, I want that to be one and the duration. So the amount of time uh, that you want to take it to finish. Under that, I have created another line that is all images i dot get component rect transform. So I want to move the image. So get component rect transform dot do anchor pose, and what I want to be the end value. So at the end, I want it to be at a position of zero by zero, and I want that to be completed in zero point five seconds. So it will take half a second to come to the position of zero by zero. So it will take half a second for this image. To come to the position of zero and for the fade you need to set this alpha to zero otherwise it will stay at one then if you hit play um, before hitting play you need to always remember and assign those images if you hit play after assigning the images you will get a effect like this
so um thanks for watching uh the page that i showed you um is the game that i've been working on called square five you can check it out over at itch.io i have posted devlogs over here um the release data is still unidentified um if you have suggestions then please post it in the comments i would love to hear what you have to say about my game um the i have um made this ui all these you know, animations for my game i have made through um do twin so thanks to do twin it's really easy to use so that's what this video thank you for watching goodbye